Hello everyone. In last two videos, we have discussed about Rolle's theorem and Lagrange's mean value theorem. Now in this video, we will discuss Cauchy's mean value theorem. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to verify Cauchy's mean value theorem for a given function. Statement. If f of x and g of x are any two functions defined on closed interval a comma b satisfying the conditions that both are continuous on closed interval a comma b and differentiable on open interval a comma b then there exist a point c between a comma b such that f dash of c upon g dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by g of b minus g of a. That is the assertion of Cauchy's mean value theorem is that if we consider any two functions defined on closed interval a comma b and if that two functions are continuous on the closed interval a b and derivable on the open interval a comma b then for that two functions this condition holds let us consider some examples verify cauchy's mean value theorem for f of x equal to 3x plus 2 and g of x equal to x square plus 1 on the closed interval 1 comma 4 solution let us verify first continuity of f of x and g of x. Now we can see that here f of x and g of x are the polynomials and we know that the polynomials are always continuous functions on the set of real numbers. Therefore obviously uh, these two functions f of x and g of x are continuous in the provided closed interval 1,4. Second condition, differentiability of these two functions on the closed interval. We know that every polynomial is a differentiable function. Therefore, f of x and g of x are also differentiable. Therefore, the two conditions of Cauchy's mean value theorem are satisfied. Hence, by the theorem, there exists a point C in the open interval 1 comma 4 such that f dash of c upon g dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by g of b minus g of a. Now to find such a point c we have to calculate all these six quantities. Now here we have provided f of x equal to 3x plus 2 to differentiate it we will get it as f dash of x equal to now the derivative of 3x is 3 and the derivative of 2 is 0. Now to have this f dash of c let us substitute x equal to c on both sides we get f dash of c equal to 3. Also we have given g of x as x square plus 1. Let us differentiate this with respect to x we get g dash of x equal to now the derivative of x square is 2x and 1 is constant its derivative is 0. Now to find the value of g dash of c let us substitute x equal to c on both sides we get g dash of c equal to 2c. Now in this example the initial point a is given as 1 and the end point b is provided as 4 and the function is f of x equal to 3x plus 2 and g of x equal to x square plus 1. Now let us calculate the values of these two functions at the end points a and b. First of all let us put x equal to 1 in f of x. We get it as 3 into 1 plus 2. 3 into 1 is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now let us put x equal to 4 on both sides in f of x we get f of 4 equal to 3 into 4 plus 2 and 3 into 4 is 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. Similarly 
कैलकुलेट g of x at the end points by putting x equal to वन and x equal to फोर So we get g of वन equal to वन square plus टू वन square is वन plus टू is equal to थ्री Now let us put x equal to फोर in g of x. We get g of फोर equal to फोर square plus टू And we know that फोर square is सिक्सटीन and plus टू is एटीन Now let us substitute all these six quantities in the equation number one. Now it reduces to left hand side is three upon two c is equal to f of b is fourteen minus f of a is five divided by g of b is eighteen minus g of a is three. Now it will imply three upon two c is equal to now fourteen minus five is nine and eighteen minus three is fifteen. Now nine and fifteen both are divisible by three. Let us divide them by three. We get three upon two c is equal to three upon five. Now on the both sides, numerator contains three. Let us remove them. We get it as one upon two c is equal to one upon five. Now it will implies the value of c equal to five by two. Now we know that five by two is nothing but two point five. and obviously 2.5 lies between 1 and 4 now this is the required point c for which cauchy's mean value theorem holds now pause the video and check whether the functions sin x cos x e raised to x are differentiable on the set of real number r i hope all of you have return an answer the problem is to check these three functions whether they are differentiable or not now consider the first function and denote it by f of x that is sin x f of x equal to sin x now differentiate it we get f dash of x equal to cos of x and the value of cos of x exists throughout the set of real numbers therefore sin x is a differentiable function now let us consider the second function cos x and denoted by f of x now let us differentiate it we get f dash of x equal to we know that derivative of cos x is minus sin x and the value of the function minus sin x exists throughout the set of real numbers r hence we can say that cos x is a differentiable function and lastly take f of x equal to e raised to x differentiating with respect to x we get f dash of x equal to derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into derivative of x is 1 that is f dash of x we get it as e raised to x and the value of e raised to x also exist for all values of r therefore the answer for the question is all these three functions sin x cos x e raised to x are differentiable on the set of real number r let us consider one more example prove that sin b minus sin a upon e raised to b minus e raised to a is equal to cos of c upon e raised to c now in this prove that we can see that this left hand side ratio this is somewhat equal to the ratio involved in the cauchy's mean value theorem now this numerator subtraction sin of b minus sin of a suggesting consider one of the function f of x as sin x and this denominator uh, exponential suggesting that take another function g of x as a raised to x now obviously this a and b are points are nothing but the end points of the closed interval for a given function let us verify first property continuity of f of x and g of x to check continuity let us use the definition of the continuity we know that any function f of x or g of x is continuous if the limit of that function is exactly equal to the value of the function as x tends to any point okay let us select tb any point from the closed interval ab this closed interval ab is provided in the example now first of all let us calculate the value of the function f of x 
at x equal to t. We get it as f of t equal to sin t. Now let us calculate limit of the same function as x tends to t. Here f of x is sin x. Let us substitute it and limit of sin x as x tends to t is equal to sin t. Now we can see that both our right hand sides are equal. Therefore, limit of the function and the value of the function at x equal to t both are equal and that is equal to sin t. Therefore, by the definition we can say that f of x is continuous in the closed interval a comma b. Now for the next function g of x equal to a raised to x, let us put x equal to t on both sides in g of x, we get g of t equal to a raised to t. Now similarly calculate the limit of the function g of x as x tends to t, g of x is a raised to x and the limit of a raised to x as x tends to t is equal to a raised to t. Now the right hand sides of these two equations are equal. It means that limit of the function and the value of the function both are equal. Therefore, we can say that by the definition g of x is a continuous function in the closed interval a comma b. Second, differentiability of these two functions f of x and g of x. Now here, uh, they have provided f of x as sin x and g of x as a raised to x. Now just we have discussed that sin x and a raised to x are differentiable functions on the set of real numbers r. Therefore obviously f of x and g of x are differentiable on closed interval uh, open interval a comma b as this interval is subset of set of real numbers. Therefore both the conditions of Cauchy's mean value theorem are verified. Hence, there exists a point C in the open interval A comma B such that F dash of C upon G dash of C equal to F of B minus F of A divided by G of B minus G of A. Let us call this as equation number one. To show that the given quantity, let me find all these six quantities. First, f of x is uh, given as sin x. Calculate f of x at the endpoints at a and b. If we put x equal to a on both sides, we get f of a equal to sin a. And if we put x equal to b, we get f of b equal to sin b. Similarly, for the function g of x, if we put x equal to a and x equal to b on both sides, we get g of a equal to a raised to a and g of b equal to a raised to b. Now uh, to calculate the left hand side differentiate uh, f of x and g of x with respect to x. We get f dash of x equal to the derivative of sin x is cos x and the derivative of g of x that is g dash of x equal to again the derivative of exponential is a raised to x itself. Let us substitute x equal to c on both sides in these two equations we get f dash of c equal to cos of c and g dash of c equal to a raised to c. Let us substitute all these six quantities in the equation number one then the equation number one reduces to cos of c upon a raised to c is equal to sin of b minus sin of a divided by a raised to b minus a raised to a. And this is the quantity which we wanted to prove, hence the proof.